Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at another AI tool. This one is called Eleven Labs and it is text to speech. So generative voice AI and this is very, very cool. So for a long time there was kind of text to speech programs where it would try and break up syllables and it would just sound like a robot talking. When you listen to this, this is really natural speech. Not only that, but you can actually create voices yourself. Uh, so they have some built-in ones, but they have a library that people can add to to create more interesting and very specific types of voices depending on what you might want to do with that audio. So have a bit of a scroll down and they talk about some of the things you might do with the AI voice generator. They describe kind of how they go about it. So pretty basic website. In terms of the pricing, there is a free version. It doesn't have a commercial license, which is really important to note if you are thinking about using this for something like audiobooks or podcasts where you're making money. But it's certainly uh, 10,000 characters per month. You would use that up very quickly as well. But it does give you definitely enough to get a good taster. And on the free version, you even get API access. That's pretty unusual. A lot of the, a lot of AI tools, the API access generally only comes once you're paying. So let's have a look at what this looks like once we log in. So our main page we would be on is speech synthesis, where we can select a voice. There's some voice settings, and so that kind of. Fiddling with those can make it uh, smoother, uh, can maybe make it kind of be a little bit better and worse with particular pronunciations. And then some text, I've just dropped in a little bit of text from an article I wrote. And so we hit generate and it will generate a recording for us. Uh, down the bottom there we can see I've already used a thousand of my 10,000 characters on the free plan. And so we'll actually go and we'll play this uh, from my history. So everything we create on here is going to be in the history. We can see that I have done that same set of text with two different voices, so a male voice and a female voice. And if we hit play. Artificial intelligence, AI, is transforming the world in many ways, from improving healthcare and education. So that is one of their built-in female voices. And you can see that, like, not terrible not necessarily the nicest when we go to the voice lab and we listen to and the voice library and listen to some of the others uh you can you'll hear that there is all sorts there uh particularly once you start going on those paid plans and uh, accessing those that i think you can get some really and interesting voices and so we'll listen to adam so same text artificial intelligence ai is transforming the world in many ways from improving healthcare and education so again, uh, much better than what you would have expected, say, a couple of years ago out of text-to-speech then. But these are, these are kind of the bottom-level free ones. If we come over to the voice library, um, we have all sorts there. So people have been creating these. And if we have a listen, so Valley Girl might be one that jumps out at you, and we listen to the sample. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Uh, so certainly you can kind of, you can picture that. I also Bruce, deep American narrator voice. I, uh, thought that was a pretty good description. Let's, uh, have a sample of Bruce. The final proof of greatness lies in being able to endure criticism without resentment. So that one really reminds me of the narrator from the, uh, Wolverine podcasts. So there was a Wolverine series that was podcasted. Uh, it was pretty good if, if you like Wolverine. In fact, even if you're indifferent, but you just like a good story, very, very similar kind of timber to the voice as that one. So I could definitely see myself using something like that if I wanted to sound a, uh, a bit deeper, a little bit more American. And so that's the voice library. If we come over to the voice lab, we can do a bit of creation in here. We can see that some of these are not available to us on this free plan but if we jump into voice design and so the one that i was curious about was australian uh, so i'm actually a new zealander but i live in australia apparently i've picked up according to my kiwi friends a couple of uh, 
little Australian tinges here and there. But if we change this over, and we've actually got accent strength as well. And so have a listen. Actually, we need to generate first. So we'll do a quick generate. Um, just first, we thought the PC was a calculator. Then we found out how to turn numbers into letters, and we thought it was a typewriter. So that's definitely not Australian. I know that that's what they, th they think it is, uh, and certainly accents in some ways are kind of in the, uh, in the eye or the ear of the beholder, but no, sorry, you, you didn't hit, quite hit your Australian. I kind of hesitate to do the Indian one because a little bit concerned that it uh, might be like a poo from The Simpsons, but certainly the American, and to a lesser degree the British, not too bad. But I think if you end up paying for this, the real power is going to be out of the uh, the voice library and the really neat stuff that's in there. You can filter by gender, age, accent, and I guess here is where they've just kind of broadly classified accents. And so that maybe makes sense with Australian to them is uh, kind of not, not European accented but kind of Commonwealth and not American accented, but kind of a Commonwealth English. Uh, I guess you can let me know if I sound like what they think Australian sounds like or more or less, but that's that. So really good tool. Uh, I'm sure if you're doing any kind of podcasting, anything with any audio in there, uh, you could definitely see some applications. Uh, very, very simple interface. It's not clogged up with a whole lot of different bits and pieces. And relative to some of the other ones that I've tried, definitely uh, one of the more effective as well. So I hope this has been useful to you. Thanks for watching. I'll be back really soon with more videos on R, stats, AI, research, and random stuff.